Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Ribbons Kettle. Um, the sun has not been shining in a long, long time. And I hope that my hand is steady enough to hold this camera. The last few videos I've noticed that uh, my hand was a bit shaky. But anyway, so I'm here to talk to you a little bit about my... Um, I have a playlist in my channel about me uh, uh, <laughs> organizing a new nursery room which is originally my middle son's bedroom he he did move to a town north and it didn't work out for him so he moved back home for only a day and then now he's down south in the city so I had, I was the one that drove him back and forth. Like I had to go north three times because all his stuff would not fit in my one little truck. So, um, we came home. He, he only packed, he only took, ugh, I feel like I'm rambling. Ramble, ramble, ramble. I did not think this video through. I'm, I'm mostly distracted by what's going on around me. It's like flurries. It's light flurries and it's warm flurries. So it's like heavy wet snow. I'll show you what I mean. So yeah, I am distracted by all of this snow. Not sure how deep you can tell it's been. But... There's some condensation on my window. I need to put plastic up on my window. This is the oldest window that we own. Um, when I moved in, like, many years ago, this was a one window I couldn't afford to upgrade. All the other windows have been upgraded. But this snow is flurries. I don't know. Like, that truck punches drove by. Let's see. It's so pretty, but it's um it's distracting me. <laughs> so as I was saying, um so my middle son moved back home but only for a day because I was able to the next day drive him down south, which is a lot for the drive down south, and he could only take the one load. So his room now is, I need to reorganize it, redo it, and I'll show you what it looks like now. And it could be dark in here. Yeah. <laughs> I kept the, uh, okay, so this is the current state. Um, I did dust everything that he owned he can't bring his big desk so I have it um that is his boxes I just covered it with this white quilted um old mattress cover for now I still have these things by the way I love these this is newborn nursery since he waxed, it smells just like baby powder. And I have this too. See that? Um, my, I have my bin right there. These are of my real son's clothes. They're old socks. Um, that was a just for a headpiece for their car and all this kind of packed but these are my real son's clothes I just keep them separate from um, the other things I still have my bins um, I have to reorganize I took down all the baby lives for now and I have these things out for now I found this I thought I'd use this in the nursery somehow. This has my mason jar bottle in there and a few other things that's 
for um this <laughs> I'm just rambling. Um, there's one of my scentsies. I will be using plugging with it and putting the newborn nursery in there. Um, I still have my son's things up on the wall. I have a few bins behind these blankets. Um, I have to reorganize all this stuff. I just put this stuff here for now while my son moved in. Oh, I he left his guitar here. And he has a few, he has a keyboard too, but some of his stuff I did put downstairs. But his guitar I want to keep up here just in case, just to keep it safe. Um, these things could probably go downstairs. Um, I still have his um, nightstand, probably use them out. I just covered this stuff up for now. Um, so yeah, so here I'll back up. And I want to use, that's my son's old, old chairs. I had a few dolls on there. So I know the carpet isn't is stained. I took out all the alphabet um, mats. But, oh, and he also has, he didn't need this. I dusted that off. I'll probably use it somehow. And he also left his bookshelves. Oh, you can't. See, let's see if this light will help. Not much. So I have, I'm going to be using his shelves while he's not using them. So, because who knows how long. But I thought I'd put my bottle collection on here. Um, if there's enough room, at least my, I have a lot of bottles, you guys. Um, hopefully they can all fit on these. I'll put my Platex, Platex vintage ones for sure up here. I'd love to show them. So yeah, I have to redo this room. There are no babies currently in view right now. So yeah. Um, wait, maybe I'll switch a mode just a sec. So here's a wide lens to give you a better idea. And I'll move back. So, yeah, so um, I have to reorganize everything. Um, hmm, I'd love to put down the mats again, maybe, I don't know, unless maybe I want something different. Um, for now, I will leave his things up on the walls. Um, I would love to turn this into, like, a... A filming area like a changing video area if there's enough light in here I want to change his valance still I have a baby valance that I used to have in my when Eric was a baby I had a baby valance in the other room so yeah that's what's going on need to reorganize everything and and by the way um last time when i had this room set up with all the babes i actually felt a little overwhelmed i should turn the i wanted to talk to you guys about that because my collection is very very huge and um <laughs> And when I first got into this hobby, it was addicting. I must say, it was really addicting. I got addicted to not only the box openings, which was awesome. Like, it was like Christmas whenever I received a box opening. But I was addicted to the different styles of artists. So I collected, I bought from different artists. Um, I was addicted to the different styles. I wanted a boy doll, a girl doll. I know you could change them up, but belly plates. I wanted a doll with combination hair, like painted and rooted. I wanted rooted. I wanted bald. I wanted painted hair only. I wanted a full vinyl body reborn. I wanted, uh, I have partial silicones. I don't have any full body silicones although i do have a a volance full body silicone but um that's just like an ashen drake kind of silicone so um 
<laughs> my collection is giant. And I did, I still have my babies in my bedroom and in the living room. They're tucked away, they're hidden away. Most of them are on display. The ones in the bedroom are all on display. Um, I've showed it before. I could link videos of, of, of them. I feel like I'm rambling, but when I had the rest of my collection out in the in the playpen and I had them up like displayed sitting up, I there was a lot of babies and I was a little overwhelmed at how crowded it was in here. So I think that's what I'll do is I'll just keep like rotating the babies out and on display and keeping the rest safely, like dust free, safely tucked aside. So <laughs> Yeah, anyways, I'll be back. So here I have my latest. Um, and also, you know what? Um, my collection is huge because also because I love the babies so much. And there is no way that I can afford reborns when I'm like retired, especially. And I am getting older. There's only... Although I know I have a lot of uh, uh, years in my career left. But technically, I'm only six years away from my uh, retirement age. <laughs> so, and then after that, I'll probably just sub-teach for a while. But <laughs> in the meantime, I thought, you know what? I would love to have a large collection because I love the variety, I love the diversity, and there is no way I can afford these dolls. And even now I can't really afford them as much anymore because I'm only sub-teaching right now. But this little beauty is a gift from a wonderful friend named Jenny. She is the, oh, what's, the Yannick sculpt by Natalie Blick. And I'm not sure who she was reborn by because I am her third mommy. Her first mommy was Suzanne's babies. And she she was Matilda Jane. And then Jenny bought her from Suzanne. And Jenny was lovely and kind enough and gracious enough and such a wonderful friend to gift her to me. So and I renamed her Jenilyn. So, yay, Jenilyn. And then somebody suggested in my YouTube for a middle name. And I'm so sorry. I should look it up. Actually, I could look it up on my laptop and see who it was. But I asked for help for a middle name. And somebody suggested Marie. So, I do like that. I don't have a Marie in my collection. I have a Mary. Um, or I do have a Marie. I have a Chantal Maria. Well, I have a Maria. I don't have a Marie. I used to have a Mary. I don't anymore. But I'm going to find out who suggested the Marie name. Okay. I finally found it. And I am coughing a little bit. So I have, I have to pause. But thank you to Karen's Reborn Art Dolls and Stuff. She said, the beautiful box opening, congratulations for a middle name. How about Marie? So I really love that name, Karen. I think it works perfectly. Gentleman Marie, I love her. And thank you so much for suggesting that. Oh, she is so cute. Now on my Instagram, I did post something about me giving her bangs i would love to but i don't know um it's not that i want to wreck like ruin her it's just this is the artist's interpretation so i don't know if i want to really mess with that no i'm like <laughs> besides i'm getting used to her it's right here it's this um her hair has been parted like that for so long that her hair um, is hard to style. But if I, I think it's human hair too. So 
I love it. I almost called her Anne. <laughs> but I love Jenilyn too. She is so sweet. So yay. Um I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, I've been coughing a lot. Not so much in these videos because I try and edit them out. <laughs> but I with the situation of still being COVID, I am obviously vaccinated from my job. So but um still you never know, right? Better be safe than sorry. I thought that oh look how her skin tone just matches mine like perfectly. She's so smiling. Okay. <laughs> I am totally off topic. I know what my mind is cloudy today too. I'm not feeling that well. So I don't know if you could tell in my voice is kinda of a little well. I'm trying my best for the videos, but <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um I can't move a l I'm sorry. I can't move a lot today. Like I mean like lift and carry. Wait. <coughs> Coughing. Wait. <laughs> Coughing fit. It could be the weather too. You never know. Um I do cough from like the cold. <laughs> I'm so distracted by this beauty and gentleman Marie. Huh? <laughs> she is super cuddly too. Oh my goodness. So cuddly. <laughs> She's anyway, and what am I doing? Look at her. She is so cute. I got this lovely outfit from Pat Pat. And um let's see what size it says. Okay, wait. Let's see what size it says. Oh, 70. That's weird. Okay, it might be like, it might be another tag. I just don't want to waste time trying to find it. <laughs> but she's cute. Look at her hair. You need a little comb, eh? Hey? Oh, she's so um, I do know that Suzanne had her eyelashes changed. I don't know if she can. Oh, not mine. <laughs> Here we. Isn't she sweet? Um, Suzanne received her from the artist with these beautiful. I think they were like applied lashes. And, um, so Suzanne had her, uh, sent to an artist to get rooted lashes. And I'm not sure, I think, I, it's been a long time since I've seen this video, but I'm not sure if Suzanne said that, like, her, the hair used on her eyes are from her head. Like, just a little clipping. I forget. I think she said that, but I could be wrong. It's been like a, over a year. Yeah, it's been, yeah, a long time since I watched that video. I do enjoy her channel a lot. So, but it's a little big on her. But I love her. Anyways, that is my job coming up is redoing that nursery room. Um... And a decision that I want to share with you all that I do not want my entire collection on display. Because when I walked into that room, I felt overwhelmed. And it was like, whoa, my collection is giant. And that's a lot that all I can think about. And I don't want to think about that. I want to come into my room and love it. Hope that you guys are doing great. Hope that you have a lovely, lovely day. I love you all. Thank you so much for joining me. And hopefully very soon. Until next time. Bye guys. Love you. And match the hand guys. Match the hand. Have a...
great day guys love you happy days christmas is coming i'm so excited <laughs> have a great day guys love you bye for now